Hello everybody, this is my first tutorial and it's about an obscure feature called animation blocks. It allows to define pieces of animation which can be reused uh, later without cluttering our timeline. In this tutorial we will animate a jumping frog behavior, however I don't have a frog model so we will use a plain teapot. Right now I have drawn a teapot and positioned it at the start of the grid. For defining the blocks we will use a dope sheet. Seriously this is the first time when I find this window useful. First of all make sure if you can see the global tracks entry. If you don't, open the filters window and make it visible. So let's make some animations. The first one will be a jump. So let's put some keys in the timeline. first one will be generated automatically, the second one will be at the top of the jump and the last one we will put a little further and again on the ground. Let's see. OK. Let's open the curve editor and select the keys to make the jump more aggressive, not so smooth. OK, looks much more dynamic now. Let's get to the point and create our first animation block. Open the dope sheet, find the global tracks again, open block control and right click the available entry. Click assign controller and assign the master block controller. Let's stop for a moment. This controller is a global one, so it's not connected to the timeline of a certain object. It gathers the animated tracks for an object and groups it in one block. Uh, what's more, it uh, stores the keyframes, so after we animate the object, we can delete its animation and it will be still retained in the block. Let's add the tracks which we will group in the block. It will be a teapot's x, y and z position. So the thing which we uh, have just animated. So let's call this block a jump and choose the starting and ending frame of the animation. This is very important. Now we can see that our master block contains a jump block which stored uh, the keyframes defining the jump. So now we can select the keyframes in the timeline and delete them. The timeline is clear again, so we are ready to create the second animation. It will be a flip. So let's navigate to the 10th frame. Let's rotate a teapot a bit, mm. then jump to the 20 frame, lower it right to the ground, fix the rotation, and it looks quite okay. Let's add some additional rotation. Much better. Let's store this animation in another block. So, right click the master block controller, click properties, 
and click the add button. This square window appears. We have plenty of things to select. First of all, select the Z mm, track because the jump is only upwards motion. Right? Another thing we need to select are the three rotation tracks because the teapot is rotating in all three axes, so we need to store them too. Select with control, it will allow for multiple tracks. Having selected the tracks, let's name the block uh, a flip and define the start and ending range and let's define a different color. So, right now we have two blocks a jump and a flip. Let's delete the keyframes like before and start using the blocks. Basically all the work is done in the dope sheet again uh, where we can find the master block track which is right now empty and our blocks so to add the block right click the master block track and select the block which you want to insert let's add the second jump maybe a flip and another jump. You can select blocks by clicking them and move by dragging them. Uh, you can also stretch mm, the blocks by clicking the small circle in the corner before selecting the block. And then you drag and the block stretches. So, let's see the results. As expected, the teapot makes two jumps, then a flip and another jump. No keyframes at the timeline. Very, very clean way of making a repeatable animation like uh, choreography. You just define a set of basic moves and put them together in the form of blocks. Having used the blocks, you can also uh, use normal keyframes. Uh, so let's combine the animations mm, by making the teapot move upwards, for example, and then descend downwards. Something like going up the stairs. You can see that the animation of the blocks is combined with the animation defined by the keyframes. And there is no mess on the track bar. This is all. Thanks for your attention. Please gargle if you liked my video. Bye.